Hello, I'm Brianna Soto from ASDB Media Team. We know a lot of parents have questions about the coronavirus and how to talk to their children about it, especially since children will be staying home for the next few weeks. We wanted you to have information provided by the National Association of School Psychologists, or NASP, to guide you through this difficult time. Children will follow the lead of adults. Remain calm and reassuring to your children. Children will respond to how you act, not just with communication, but also with your body language. Let them know everything will be okay. Lead by example and washing your hands with your children so they get into the habit. Listen to your children. Chat with your children about their feelings and their fears. They may not have the words, but it would be important for them to know you will listen to them. Remind them you will be there to help keep them safe and healthy. Be available to your children. Your children might need more than just chatting. They might need extra attention from you. Make time for them and tell them that you love them and give them plenty of affection. Avoid blaming. When tensions are high, sometimes we try to blame someone. It is important not to blame any group of people for the virus. Be aware that other adults may have different values and you may have to explain what other adults mean by their comments. Monitor television and social media viewing. Put a limit on how much TV and social media your children spend watching. Remind children that some information are rumors and not fact, especially on the internet and social media. Be careful what and when you watch. Try not to watch any information which might upset children. News and information meant for adults may confuse children or even worse, cause more anxiety. Instead, play games or do other fun activities with them to engage their minds elsewhere. Maintain regular schedules. Keeping a regular schedule is reassuring to children, and it promotes physical health. Encourage them to do some schoolwork and other extracurricular activities, but at their own pace so they don't feel overwhelmed. Be honest and accurate. Children can imagine situations worse than they are. Don't ignore what they're feeling and let them know only a few people are sick with the coronavirus at this moment. It's okay to tell children how the coronavirus is spread through coughs or sneezes or by touching an infected surface. Remind them how important it is to protect themselves. Teach children basic hygiene practices for protection. Encourage your child to practice good hygiene. Wash hands many times throughout the day for at least 20 seconds. Cover their mouths with a tissue when they cough or sneeze or into the bend of the elbow. Do not share food or drinks. Practice giving fist or elbow bumps. Help children feel they are in control. Teaching your children to help fight prevention gives them a sense of control and it helps with reducing anxiety. Help your children eat a balanced diet, get enough sleep, and exercise regularly. This will help with building a strong immune system. Talk to a professional. If you suspect your child is having trouble coping, reach out to a school counselor, a social worker, or a psychologist. 
Be there and be patient with your children. Children may want to talk, but it may take some time to open up. Look for clues like being very close to you while you're doing chores around the house or in the yard. Children will ask questions, go back to playing, and come back to ask more questions. Keep explanations age appropriate. Early elementary school age. Younger children need simple information. Let them know adults are working to keep them safe. If they do get sick, let them know adults will take care of them. Remind them to wash away germs when washing their hands. Upper elementary and middle school age. These children will be more vocal about questions and whether they feel safe. Help them to tell the difference between rumor and reality. Discuss school and community efforts to prevent germs from spreading. Upper middle school age and high school. Help them with finding information so they can feel more in control. The more they know, the better they'll feel. Where to find information? More information is coming out all of the time. The ASDB media team will be updating as we know more on social media and websites. You can find the links below. Where to find information? For more info, check cdc.gov slash coronavirus slash 2019 hyphen ncov slash index dot html or asdb.az.gov slash covid hyphen 19. Information provided by National Association of School Psychologists, NASPonline.com.